We want to create a super force. And what did this super force create? The universe itself. It is the driving force of creation. It's the energy of the Big Bang itself, the super force. Dr. Kaku, is Isaac Newton still relevant today? Very definitely. Every time we launch a space probe and we, we shine, I mean, we send a space probe right past the rings of Saturn, right past uh, Uranus and Neptune, you wonder, how do we do it? How do we send a space probe so close we could go whizzing right by the rings of Saturn, which is billions of miles away? And these are the laws of Isaac Newton. The laws you see around you that make skyscrapers possible, steam engines, locomotives, rocket ships, all of that is due to Isaac Newton. And then when you start to go near the speed of light and you start to get exotic things like black holes and expanding universes, then you need the laws of Einstein. But even that's not enough. Because once you approach the beginning of the universe, Einstein's equations break down. So at the Big Bang, Newton is out the window, Einstein is out the window, and at the Big Bang, we need a theory of a super force, and that we think is superstring theory.